Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for Snack Time Story with Mrs. Jen. How's it going? This is called, I'm going to read you one called Good Job, Little Bear. It's got really cute pictures in it. The author is Martin Waddell, and it's illustrated by Barbara Furst. Okay, Zoe, get down so you can read the story with us. Zoe, don't eat it. Zoe's here, everybody. Good job, Little Bear. Once there were two bears, Big Bear and Little Bear. Big Bear is the Big Bear, and Little Bear is the Little Bear. One day, Little Bear wanted to go exploring, and Little Bear led the way. There's Little Bear and Big Bear. Those are pretty funny names, aren't they? Little Bear found Bear Rock. Look at me, said Little Bear. Where are you, asked Little, where are you, Little Bear, asked Big Bear. I'm exploring Bear Rock, Little Bear said. Watch me climb. Good job, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Sounds like Little Bear likes to show the Big Bear what he's doing. I see you now, Big Bear, Little Bear shouted. I'm jumping. I'm here, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Little Bear jumped off Bear Rock into the arms of Big Bear. I'm off to explore again, Little Bear said, and he ran out in front of Big Bear. Here he goes. Little Bear's got a lot of energy. I wonder if any of you are like Little Bear. I bet you are. Little Bear found the old bendy tree. Look at me, said Little Bear. I'm bouncing about on an old bendy tree. Pretty tricky. Have you ever climbed a tree before? I bet you're good at it if you have. Uh-oh, Zoe's got my arm. Okay, here we go. Little Bear bounced on the branch. Watch me bounce. Higher, Big Bear, said Little Bear. Well done, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Are you ready, Big Bear? Little Bear called the Big Bear. Little Bear bounced higher and higher and higher, and he bounced off to the branch. Where do you suppose he landed? Right into the arms of Big Bear. You caught me again, Little Bear said. Good job, Little Bear, said Big Bear. I'm going to explore some more, said Big Bear. Little Bear, I mean. Little Bear found the stream near the shady place. I'm going over the, to the stream, said Little Bear. Look at me, Big Bear. Look at me crossing the stream all by myself. Wow. Have you ever been to a stream before? Streams are fun. Good job, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Little Bear hopped from one stone to the other. I'm the best hopper there is, Little Bear said. Little Bear hopped again and again. Take care, Little Bear, said Big Bear. I'm taking care, Little Bear said. Little Bear, called Big Bear. Splash. Uh-oh, Little Bear fell in the water. Look at that frog, he looks really worried about Little Bear. I'm a little worried about Little Bear. Help me, Big Bear, cried Little Bear. So he's turning the pages for us. Big Bear waded in and he pulled Little Bear out of the water. Don't cry, Little Bear, we'll soon have you dry. He hugged Little Bear. Nice. Let's go exploring some more, Little Bear, said Big Bear. Explore where, Little Bear asked. On the far side of the stream, said Big Bear. Well, take care, Big Bear. You might fall in like me, Little Bear said. Not if you show me the stone where you slipped, said Big Bear. It was this stone, said Little Bear. Good job, Little Bear, said Big Bear. So then they ma he made him not be afraid because he went back to his place where he slipped. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the story. I'm laughing at my dog. Oh, all right, Big Bear and Little Bear explored the way through the woods and, and all they explored all the way back to their bear cave. Big Bear and Little Bear settled down cozy and warm in the bear chair. Were you scared, Little Bear, asked Big Bear. When you, were you scared when you fell in the water? Oh, I knew you'd be there, said Little Bear. That's right, Little Bear, said Big Bear. I'll be there when you need me. Isn't that great that they're such good friends? Always, he said. The end. That was a good one. Oh my goodness, Zoe doesn't want story time to end.
So, shh. Okay, thanks for listening to my story. I will have another story for you tomorrow. All right, miss you. Bye.